Whoa, you see that guy there? He looks like he has no clue what he's doing. Well, that guy's me, and that's my wife, Amanda, and our new daughter, Ada Rain. And you're probably wondering how we got into this situation. Well, if you are, then you've come to the right place. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the first episode of our Jones Family Vlog. What's up, world? It is Thursday, April 20th, and I mean, it's Amanda's due date today, so this baby should be here any day now. I'm just getting this camera tested out, seeing that everything's good. I don't think she's gonna give birth today, but uh, we'll see. So while I got this camera out, let's check out some things for the baby. All right, so this right here is the hospital bag this is the mother's bag although i think i'm supposed to put like some shirts in there i don't know but i really don't know what's in this bag so i probably shouldn't go through it because there should be there could be some mysterious things that amanda doesn't want on camera so let's go through the more fun one this right here is the baby bag which i just think is awesome because the baby's not even born yet and already has a bag we still don't know if it's a or if he or she is male or female so that's why I keep saying it but let's check it out <laughs> we have I have absolutely no idea what this is like an air mattress or a parachute I don't know. and we have a lamb hat which is cool baby's gotta stay warm we have a blanket with like all the animals from Noah's Ark. Then we have a, what in the world? It's like another lamb, I guess. Looks like if a lamb and a handkerchief had a baby together. But it's cool, it's cool. So then we have, <laughs> I probably should have gone through this before I got this on video because I have no idea what this is either. A life jacket maybe? Baby's gonna be the next Michael Phelps or Michelle Phelps. What's that girl's name? Katie Ladock. Oh, so yeah, baby's got some cool stuff in there. This is inspiring me to pack a bag. Mom's got a bag, baby's got a bag. I need to get a bag. Anyway, baby's ready. Hello there. Hello there. What are we doing? Getting some popsicles. <laughs> Why? Because we about to have this baby. <laughs> the baby? Yeah. What are you most nervous about? Do you about? think you're ready for the baby? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of feel like a mix between Christmas Eve and like the night before a big exam that I haven't studied for. <laughs> I'm trying not to be nervous. I think you got it. Although, the fact that the baby is measuring at nine pounds isn't really helping. Ooh. <laughs> isn't really helping. Mm -hmm. Love you. Okay. All right. We will let family know. Are you ready? Hold on. Yep. Where are we heading? Hospital. <laughs> 
Baby time, go time. All right, here we go. Good luck. Leaving on our journey. Love you so much. Love you too. You'll do great. I know you will. All right. Go get grandma a hug. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you too. Love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this time tomorrow, the baby will be here. Ready. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Even right now, God, we pray for safe delivery. We pray for a healthy baby. Thank you for your faithfulness for this couple this far. Children are truly a blessing from the Lord, a fruit of the root of the womb. So we pray, God, even tonight, be glorified as this is a life changing moment that this child will be dedicated to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Y'all have a great night. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, I saw you yawn right before I turned the camera on. So. Yes. I'm about to induce you, huh? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. Ready to meet this baby. Now I got a question for you. Okay. Maybe I have an answer. Why do they make my shirt say visitor? Because you're not a patient. What? Because you're not a patient. I'm not a visitor. You're not a patient, so you are a visitor. They should have put guy who caused all this. <laughs> so what things should I not say to you while you're... Just don't be the... really irritating. <laughs> Is that going to be easy for me? <laughs> Probably not going to be easy for you. So, like, what are some key words not to say? No scales of 1 to 10. All right. None. Okay. And no what-ifs. No what-ifs. All right. Or would-you-rathers. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I do one more scale of 1 to 10? No, you cannot. <laughs> no scales of 1 to 10. They're I not allowed want, here. I, I just want to know scale of 1 to 10, what's your pain management? So this will be filled with the baby soon. Probably shouldn't touch it. It looks pure. All right, any last words before I shut this off for a few hours? Mm-mm. Nothing? We're good. Nothing to say? Mm-mm. All right. I almost asked the scale of 1 to 10, but I didn't. <laughs> Good. I resisted. Good. It's going to be difficult for you. <laughs> it is. All right. Almost noon on April 26th, and there is the woman herself. How are you feeling? Really hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, you're doing great so far. Thanks, love. These are all the contractions that she's having. <laughs> all those purple things. Those look like mountains. So Amanda is going to fire this baby out across the room. It's going to land perfectly in this delivery table. Is that right? No, sir. <laughs> All right. So uh, the doctor. Oh, uh, they got you waiting. Yeah, waiting right now. Um, they said that 
we'll wait a couple hours and the baby will just kind of descend more on its own and then okay. that way I only have to push for like one hour instead of pushing for like three hours that makes a lot of sense yeah so yeah. so I'm just gonna wait a couple hours and see if baby uh, progresses on down by by itself and and then I'll push <laughs> yeah no so I told Chase like I'm like kind of sad that I didn't get to go natural, but at the same time, I'm very happy that I got the amateur. I can't imagine going another five hours too much. Yeah, it was back to back to this. I had no break in between contractions. Chase's mom called and chatted for a few minutes, and she said, "I am so glad she got that epidural." Yeah. She goes, "That is God's gift." Yes. <laughs> All right, this is the final video before everything starts. Last guess, boy or girl? I'm just feeling that boy intuition. I think I'm going to say boy too. Yeah, which was what I originally thought. I was going back and forth every single day, but I yeah. think I spent more time guessing boy than girl, so uh -huh. we shall see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Anything else you want to say before? Baby. Yep. <laughs> we will be three. Long awaited. Last last selfie with just the two of us. <laughs> or just the two of us being a family. <laughs> it's a video, so I don't know why I'm still smiling. I know. I was like, are you gonna take a <laughs> take a picture? Yeah, that's alright. Alright. Well, just a few more minutes. You're still smiling. <laughs> yep. You ready? Ready to meet this baby, ready to be done. Awesome. All right. So that's it. That's the story of how our family of two became a family of three. And we know it's not going to be easy, especially with the lungs that this girl's got on her. But we're excited for this adventure and can't wait to see where the Lord leads our little family. So stay tuned for some more Jones Family vlogs in the near future. And we'll see just how crazy this ride gets. <laughs>